I'm talking about killing Captain Cook. You know what I mean? <laughs> I remember writing those lines and being like, man, should I say this? I really want to push the envelope and I want to really tap into the mindset of someone preparing for war. What are you willing to do to protect your family if you know someone's coming to kill them? Their very existence, their family, their culture is under threat and their land's about to be stripped from them. We didn't just shake some white fuller's hand and go, yeah, cool, have it. There was war, and there's still active resistance today. Any white devil wanna test my will? You're gonna get burnt by the fire I feel. Look him in the eye and hold his spirit still. He's hoping I don't catch him, but I know why. Standing on the shoreline, coming, coming. Mother wanna cross mine, wanna take it from me. Fire in my eye, but we ain't running. Wanna murder, let's Fred, the only who features on it, my cousin. Fred's a bachelor song man. He actually dreamt up that song. All my music is very explicitly political, I guess, and speaking to and trying to amplify Aboriginal voices and my family story. That's what the essence and the core of it is. And that's where I find my power. The project was called Place of Dreams, and so I was like, I really want to take this and flip it on its head. It's sort of coupling like this light-hearted presentation with really harsh realities. Australia being this lucky country, you know, and we're young and free and all that bullshit. Remember the time you said that you were sorry? A couple of years later, it's the same old story. Black lives matter less than white man's glory. Unfortunately, sorry is just a word. I remember being on the phone when that happened to my old man who's stolen generations. It was like an emotional moment. It was like, in that moment, it was like, oh, something's happening. But then once there's no action or it gets worse, which it has, then they just become words and they slowly fade away and you realize they didn't mean shit. Bringing in the awkward voice. Yeah, it was just something me and my mates do all the time. I was like, they're gonna find this fucking hilarious. The patriotism and you know nationalism behind the flag. I look at it and see violence. It represents massacres and bloodshed, really. Australia Day. We don't need one. It doesn't need to be on the 26th. <laughs> like I'm not gonna like sit around and be like, okay, it's cool to fly the Australian flag now and have a barbecue, like, if it's on the 24th. I can't celebrate the country in that way. So a date change is really, just doesn't mean anything to me. Now we said black lives matter, but shit, the fact of matter is we just, just black, black matter. Just black matter, this shit keep happening. Total disregard for black life. I'm very reactive as an artist. You know, rest in peace, Elijah Doherty. He killed a 14 year old and there's still no hear no see no. I fear that there will be no justice ever for my people. You know, I was fortunate enough that that song connected with people and people got the message and it reached, you know, Elijah's family and, and you know, they were appreciative of it, which means the most. Man, I'm scared of getting by a motherfucking cop. With police, it's like, you know, I don't feel safe around police. White fellas, it's like a service. It's like they're there to serve and protect. For me, it's like, <laughs> if I see a policeman, I'm gonna walk the other way. Black fellas, we've been doing it, yeah, from day dot. You know, whether it's been hip hop or it's been like going to rallies and like seeing our elders be on the front line, like, We've never asked permission to do that. Hip hop has just been that vehicle for the younger generations to really like carry that torch. Papa always said, keep your mind on your money and mind your business, cause a white man coming, hunting for the black man, not the brother down. Watch out for the trap, son, no one hears the sound. Black Shaw is really special to me and to this day still one of my personal favorite songs because there's so many times that all we see on mainstream media is like us dying or like in, you know, very vulnerable positions. And I wanted to really show the strength 
and the beauty in Aboriginal people, you know, it's like kings and queens. That really represents who my father was growing up and always instilling like the knowledge, but also like you gotta watch out, you know, you gotta be on your P's and Q's kind of thing. And to have a father like mine that really prepared me to be able to walk out that door and sort of be hit with the things that I was hit with, but be able to sort of learn how to navigate through it and not not let it fold me, you know, not let it break me. Mama always said, don't be scared, be prepared. Best of As a kid, for me, it was always, even the fact that we existed was like, nah, you can't say that. And in Australian history, when it came to black philosophy, you just like really skim over it and then get back to the great white explorer. And so for me as a father now to see my son go to kinder and at that early age, just letting him know that we exist, <laughs> that we've been here, and this concept of excellence, the strength of us. I think he's been in every video of mine so far. He's a part of it. And it's, a, it's a really important for me that he's around it all and that he knows this is what dad does, you know. Just look at the camera, Charlie, look at the camera. And he's, he's like silent and then he goes, I am. I'm looking at it. <laughs> Bribing him with like chocolate muesli bars and shit. Oh, child, things are gonna get That particular part of the song was really about empowering younger generations. And that was like, that was the hope. That was really where I got the idea of this is what the visual needs to be. I know I'm speaking on really harsh things, but I want that positive message in there, you know, for the young people. As Aboriginal people, we're very strong and resilient, and, and we put ourselves into action, and our fight is always going to be burning, it's always going to be there. No matter what you do, you'll be known as a black child. Child, things are gonna get easier. Oh.